Okay, here's a question for you based on, believe it or not, a concept that we learned yesterday. It says a broom balances at its center of gravity. You can also call it the center of mass. Can that be done? Sure it can. Let me just demonstrate. If I'm not mistaken, I got a broom here somewhere. <laughs> Sure enough, I do. Let's see if I can do this. By the way, the, the easiest way to find this the balance point is to hold it in two spots and bring your fingers together. Notice how one finger doesn't move much, if at all, until you start getting close, then the other one starts moving. That's because of Newton's laws of motion. It'll always find the balance point if you do it that way. So it's quicker than kind of guessing. So there's the balance point. Ooh, wow. it, it can be done. Oh my God. Then it says, <laughs> if, you, if you saw the broom, Tim, don't call me God. Everybody calls me God. I don't know why. I'm not God, Tim. I don't believe in that. There's only one God, and it's not me. Okay. If you saw the broom into two parts, now saw with a saw, not saw with your eyes. I think that's the problem with English. If you saw the broom into two parts from the center of gravity, without cutting your finger, hopefully and then weigh each part on a scale, which part will weigh more? The left or the right? The right. Oh, you guys are too smart. Okay, let me give you three choices then. Which is gonna weigh more? The left, that's the left, right? The right or the same? Yeah, my finger. The left side, the right side, or the same side? Now, before we actually do it, I want to take a vote. Go with your gut reaction. Think about it for a few seconds. Okay, who says the left side? Oh. Yeah? Who says the right side? Who says the same? Yes, all sorts of people. Looks like about eight. The answer is? The short broom part is heavier. So the answer is the right. They're not the same. I'm glad somebody suggested that. They're not the same. Why not? Well, it balances the long handle, the heavy part does. Just as kids of unequal weights can balance on a seesaw, there's that word saw again, different, different meaning. When the heavier kid sits closer to the fulcrum, the fulcrum's the balance point. Both the balance broom and the seesaw are evidence of equal and opposite torques, not equal weights. In other words, to, to figure out where this kid needs to sit, the weight of the little person times the distance from the balance point or the fulcrum must equal his weight times the distance. Since his weight is greater, he's closer. So similarly with the broom, this side is actually heavier. You know, I'm not, I don't want to cut this particular broom, but I used to have two brooms that were identical. And if you take my word for it, I cut this one at the center of gravity. Let me just see which one's heavier. Yeah, this one's heavier. I weighed it, 279 grams, 279, and this is only 214. So, most of you were wrong. Your gut feeling in physics is often incorrect. The short end of the broom is heavier because of torques. Thank you. I'm joining.